Be careful of people who say they're going to do things, period. Anyone that says they're going to do things is at risk of not doing it. And there's a really good psychological reason for this. So we actually know that speech is essentially like a substitute for action in the brain. Speech and action are very kind of similar in the brain. And when we talk about doing something, we often get like the reward of doing it without necessarily doing it. So someone might tell you like, um, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, get you flowers every, every month. And the problem with this is, is that they probably mostly have a good intention of get, getting you flowers. I'm a firmly, firm believer that people don't actually like have bad intentions for the most part. The majority of people do not, are not out here to hurt you, but you know, they want to feel good. They want to make you feel good. And they want the kind of um, benefit of that, that good feeling of like, oh yeah, I did something for someone. Like, you know, I'm treating someone really well. The problem with this is if they say this to you, they're like, yeah, I'm going to get you flowers all the time, blah, 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 blah. Um, essentially, this is getting them all of the benefit in their brain of buying you flowers by talking about it. So they don't really have that like urge to do it after they talk about it. So that's why oftentimes we see people who really talk about things like quite a bit, like they're, you know, like just like they're not like doing things, they're just talking about them. That's the reason why that happens is because speech is a substitute for action. And this actually goes kind of both ways. So oftentimes, if we can talk about all of the kind of things that we're doing that aren't good for us, then we can actually be less likely to do it. So let's say um, you're, you know, my favorite example, you're like just eating like a ton of cookies when you come home from work, and it's really not serving you. If you go into therapy um, or like talk to a coach or um, even a friend about like kind of this urge to eat cookies, how you're eating them, what they taste like, how you feel after, then this will actually kind of um, make you feel like you did this action. And then you will be less likely to do this action because you talked about it. Essentially, it's like speech as a replacement for action in the brain. So if you want to do less of a negative thing, talk about it. If you want to do more of a positive thing, don't talk about it. So that's why it's really kind of risky to um, believe people that keep telling you that they're going to do things for you is because essentially saying it to you is essentially in their brain kind of like doing it. And so they're going to be less likely to do it because they've said it to you. And this is not like a process most people are aware of. And this also tracks for a lot of people, you know, that talk a lot about like, oh, I'm going to, you know, start that diet or I'm going to run that marathon. Like oftentimes the people that keep blabbing about this are not the people that are doing the, the work. They're not the people that are doing the action. So you see this all the time in life. And now you kind of know why it happens is because um, just the way like the neuroanatomy and the neuroscience of this basically makes it so that when we talk about something thing. It's very similar to us doing it. And then we are less likely to do it. So um, post examples of how you've seen it, this manifest in everyday life. Um, we often see people that are like talking about things and then not doing it. So it could be in dating, it could be in fitness, maybe it's at work. Um, and um, yeah, I hope this helps just kind of be wary of yourself talking about things that you want to be doing, or other people telling you things that they're going to do for you.